Now in this session I'm going to demonstrate how to grade submitted assignments from students. So when a student signs in, this is what they usually see. They log in here as to, your, to their test account and they see whatever you have posted in the course. Now under assignment one, they'll click on reflection paper, they'll see the details for it and they'll have a button to click on add submission. Under add submission, they have to certify that this is their own work and then they have to simply drag and drop the file that they worked on. So here they can click on add, choose browse, and then locate the work that they did. So here's sample course and for now I'm just going to pick any of these things here. and then click on upload this file. They could also have dragged and dropped it here as well and then save changes. Now for you as the instructor, as you're getting those assignments, now the question is how do you grade those papers? Where do you go to grade them and so on? So now if we, I'm going to minimize this and I'm going to go back to our course as a teacher. In the previous moments here I was as a student, now I'm going to go in as a teacher and make sure, actually you don't need turn, to turn editing on, but you could if you wanted to. Now you go to the assignment, and this is the proper way of grading the assignments. You go under assignment one, and then it has all the details about it. Now notice in here you have this option for view grade all submissions. So click on it, and in here you'll see all the students in your course and also see the assignments that have been uploaded by the different students. Now a couple ways of doing the grading here. One of the things is that you can enable quick grading here and you have to do this once in your computer and then you'll notice these check boxes. So you basically could click in here, open up the document, read their paper and then put your grade right there. That's one way. It's kind of the quickest way, but not really the most recommended way. Now, what we do suggest is that you actually go to wherever your papers start and you click on this little pencil or grade icon here. So you click on it. And then notice in here, it gives you a lot of details. And here's the assignment from the student. You'll click on it to download it. I'm going to save it and then you'd basically open it up and then let's assume that this is their paper. Now the next thing that we suggest about doing here is that you go here under review and then insert comments in the paper so you can highlight a sentence and so on click on insert comment and then just add whatever comments they want. Uh, that you want. So basically you are grading this in an electronic way, making notes and all that type of thing. Now if you have a tablet PC as well, you can here under inking, there's this option for inking. You can also use the pen like this to highlight stuff. And then once you're done, you click on save here, you can give it a new name, or but remember where you saved it to start with, I had it on the desktop at this point. So now let's assume I'm done grading this, I could put another comment here on the very top and go under insert comment. By the way, Microsoft Word for you might look slightly different, this is a very new 2016 version of it. But it's the same idea under review, add new comment, and then you could say grade. 89 out of 100 or if you remember for this assignment we had done it against 20 points so this would be 17 out of 20 so keep that in mind as well and then save it now we go back here to our system and we post the grades so we put post here 17 out of 20 notice and then you also can post some additional comments. So you could either post uh, all the comments right here, or you could say see attached or feedback 
file for comments. Because what we are going to do is, and this is the proper way of grading assignments, we are going to actually upload then the graded paper back to the student. So we can either drag it from here. So if I go here to desktop, there's my paper, drag it and drop it over here. Or we could have attached it by clicking on this icon and adding it in there and all that type of stuff. Notice it's going to send an email to the student to notify them. And then the next thing to do here is, we're pretty much almost done with this student. We click on save and show the next. So that means save the grade, email the student, and show me the next student. Now in this case, the next student didn't submit anything, so we give them a zero. So if somebody didn't submit something, it's time to grade them. Just give them a zero, no assignment submitted. And then save and show the next and all of that type of stuff. So that's the proper way of grading them. Now what happens is, is that the student got an email. The student can go back and see their feedback. So if I go back here as a student, this is what the student will see. It says it is graded and the grade was 17 out of 20. It was a B and then it says feedback comments and then if they click on this they'll see all the comments that you sent to them via that feedback file. Notice it has all the red scribbling and the comments here and all that type of stuff. So that's the proper way of grading the papers. Now the other thing that happens is, is that if we go back here to our course and we go to the gradebook, you don't have to enter anything anymore in the gradebook. So if I go to the grades, notice the grades have been entered for those two students automatically in here. And also the student will know what their grade looks like for the whole course as they are moving from uh, one point to the other month in the semester. So this is the best way to grade it. Again, grade it from the main course page rather than entering the grades directly into the gradebook. If you enter grades directly here into the gradebook, you're overriding the actual grade for that assignment. It's like the store manager overriding the price for some item there. So that's grading assignments.